Hi, the beautiful animated paintbrush photo effect you will learn to create today looks like this. It's a very beautiful effect. You can have any photo of your choice. You can use it to introduce a team member in your organization or you can have an emotional message here and a relevant emotional photo on this side. You can use this design in n number of situations. Let us learn how to create this beautiful effect from scratch. The best part is, in the process, you will learn a lot about PowerPoint you may not have known already. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program for professionals. The first step is to download the paint brush image from Pixabay.com. This is a vector graphic. When I searched for paint brush, I found this image. Let us go to free download, go to vector graphic and say download. Let me paste the image onto my slide. Right click and ungroup this image. You would notice that there are some small bits here and there which need to be removed. So let us select all of them and delete. And just to be safe, select this big bulk. Press Ctrl X and then click and drag your cursor across to remove any of the other extraneous elements. And then Ctrl V and you bring it back. Now I'm going to squish this a little so I can have this going as a paint brush from left to right. Now if I were to insert a photo onto this, the photo will also look squished. So we need to have a way of solving that problem. How do we do that? Very simple. You go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up any shape, it doesn't matter and just draw the shape in the middle first and then hold the shift button down and select this background vector graphic which is an SVG image, now converted into a simple Microsoft object. Now select both of these and then go to shape format, merge shapes and say shape union. Now this is a new shape and we can use it for our effect. Let me go to shape outline and say no outline so it looks cleaner. Rotate this slightly like so to keep it at an angle and then let us select this again, press Ctrl D and maybe I can flip this horizontally by going to rotate and use flip horizontal option and maybe I can rotate this a bit like this and then I can select both of them and then place them under this like so and let us select all of these and then slightly expand the shape. Now that looks good. Now this is what is going to be filled with image. Now of course you can select everything, use shape union and make this as one shape and then fill it with picture. But then you may not have this swiping brush stroke effect. To get that effect, first let us create a new slide, insert a picture of our choice, go to insert pictures and go to stock images. Let us say woman, it doesn't matter, you can have any image of your choice. I'm just picking up some image of a person. I've used this image in the example. Maybe I can use the same or maybe this time I can use this one and say insert. Now let me increase the transparency slightly like so. Right click, cut and place, paste this over here and then position it so you can clearly see the image. So this is the image and it is going to be appearing with brush stroke like this. So it looks perfect to me. Now we can crop out the unnecessary portions. So let us go to picture format, go to crop and we don't need all this portion here and this portion here and this and this. We can go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like so. Right click, send this to back, go to shape fill and have it as black colored fill, shape outline, no outline. Now select this image which is in some semi-transparent mode. Let us go to picture format, go to transparency and bring it to full transparency. Now we need some image that covers the entire slide area but then this should be the area of focus. So to do that, I'm going to select this picture in its position. Hold the shift button down and select this rectangle which covers the entire slide area. Then press Ctrl X to cut it. Right click and paste it back as a picture. You can see that is the second option here. Now this is one image. Now let us cut this. Right click on the empty slide area, go to format background and say picture or texture fill and say picture source is clipboard. Now that image is part of the background. You cannot change it. You can see that the image has the right position on the slide. Excellent. 
Now the next step is to draw a rectangle once again to cover the entire slide area. Go to shape outline, no outline and fill this with black color. Of course you can choose any slide color you want. Now click and drag across to pick up all those individual paint brush strokes that we had earlier. Right click and then bring it to front. Now we are going to create a magic. We are going to have all these fill with slide background fill. Can you see here? I have selected all of them. Go to fill option. You can do that by right clicking and going to format shape and that opens up this pane. Go to fill and say the filling needs to be with slide background. So let us click on this option and instantly we have the slide background fill. If you remember, I had cut that image and then placed it as a slide background and now you can see it through this. Now we can apply wipe animation to complete our magic. So I'm going to select this first, go to animations and say wipe animation from left and then let us select the next one and say wipe from right and then next one wipe from left and then the last one wipe from right. Let us go to animation pane. Apart from the first one, everything else needs to happen after previous. Now when I go to slideshow, on a click you can see that this is how the painting happens and that brings in the photo. Of course, the final step is to add your caption here. To save you some time, I've already got my text here and I'm going to write it here. And let us go to slideshow and this is the final effect. I've got my caption up here right after the final animation happens with a fade in animation. You can see that this is the last one after previous. It is a simple fade in animation. So that is how you create this effect. If you want to learn more ways to use PowerPoint in a creative way, you can always join our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program. If you are a beginner and want to build a strong foundation in PowerPoint, then you can join our complete PowerPoint foundation course. Of course, when you get our mastery program, you will get foundation course bundled into the main program. Links to both the products are in the description box. Please click on the link and check out more details. If you liked this tutorial, then you will really love this other tutorial that I created called how to play video inside paint splash in PowerPoint. It's a very interesting technique aimed mainly for beginners. So here on your screen, you see the link to that video. You can click on the link, watch that video next and learn a very interesting technique that will definitely impress your audience. I'll see you inside that video.